It was a lovely evening on the Isle of Sodor. Owen, with Yvonne, Edwin, and whatnot, trundled along the peel Godred branch. Drizzle scienced into the wind. It was a beautiful night. As the sun was turning to dusk, and the moon was sinking lightly, and the sun was shining brightly. Oh, shit, I'm on a tangent again, said the narrator. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Owen pulled into the disused siding in front of the engine shed. He arrived and came to an abrupt stop. The passengers inside Evan and Edwin were amazed and proud of Owen. They left the coaches and huddled to Angela and Marcus, where I was huddling in the shed, just until the weather cleared up. Thunder was immense. I thought to myself, yes, I'm amazing, isn't it? Then Sir Tottenham had arrived and spoke to Etienne. Etienne, he said, I want you to go save Daisy. This is a very important situation. She may have broken down in front of the castle. Will do, sir, said Etienne, and he made his way across the seven seas. Daisy had broken down in front of the tunnel mouth. She was sad and worried that her passengers may not get there on time. Swells at most. Then Etienne could recognize a familiar face. It was Etienne. Etienne had arrived just in the nick of time. He cobbled up to Daisy, and then things started to happen. They confessed their love for each other in the most honest way possible. <laughs> and as soon as they made it official, Etienne pulled Daisy back to the lower station at the end of the line. <laughs> Despite the power being out, Etienne used his backup generator to pull Daisy across the viaduct and across to the station. Daisy was ever thankful for his now, um, companion, in a way. The rain started to lighten up a bit, but not by much. At last, after worrying for many minutes, Sir Topman was relieved to see Etienne and Daisy pull to the platform, triumphant but tired. Etienne let out a huge sigh of relief as the power finally reactivated. All systems go, he thought. Daisy was extremely amazed for the rescue. Sir Topham had spoke to Etienne. Well done, Etienne. You saved the day once again. And I hear that you uh, and Daisy made it official. Congratulations. I shall make marriage uh, arrangements as soon as possible. And Sir Topham turned his heel out away. As I looked upon the hazing sky and the rain fell, I thought to myself, this would be a most romantic evening once again on the island of Soto. Thank you.